Eh? How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the back. Just to be safe. <laughs> you ever wonder why there's a bank out here? Mm, well, I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, you. You're free to go. <laughs> Not really. But you've got a package. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job, and I don't lose my job. <laughs> See you around. Free to go. Hmm. Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the armored van, but suddenly spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. OBJECTION! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then. What are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Take that! Is... is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? What? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. What are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! What? As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious! This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now. You guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman,
is the mayor. I hereby declare the two. We got a breach headed towards the medieval section. Uh, roger that. We're preparing to engage over. And after that, they just stopped and arrested him. Whoa, really? Yeah, that's when I decided I should probably get a different job. I figured night garden is much less dangerous than driving a- Crap. <laughs> Wait. Sir, place your hands where I can see them. Check, check, this is Charles. Thought I'd, uh, give you a heads up. Uh, there's a guy down there, a bad guy. So, uh, yeah. Good luck. Hey, good job there. Oh, uh, so we should probably look for something incriminating. Something that we can use to prove that they're criminals, you know? I mean, the whole point of this operation. Alright, gentlemen. We've been tasked with developing new weapons for the clan. Any ideas? That's kind of thinking. Yeah. Nah, we can't do that. Why not, man? You do realize how much a solid gold cannon would weigh, don't you? Phew, we totally got enough power. What do you think, man? Well, I'm still kind of new here, so I'm not really sure what to say. Hmm. Door's jammed again. Oh, hey, uh, you see that record sign? Where it says records? That'd probably be a good place to look, right? Let me just, uh, help you get across that gap. Huh? Alright, here it comes. I don't think that guy knows how to open the door. Oh man, I remember this. Good thing nobody knows about this or we'd be in a lot of trouble. Oh man, that duck just flew right into the propeller. Oh, what a mess. 
Oh man, I remember this. Good thing nobody knows about this or we'd be in a lot of trouble. <coughs> oh, hello Mr. Spider. Alright, you got some evidence. Oh, wait, wait. There's no way you're getting through there. Lots of guys and there's lots of guns, that's all I'm gonna say. It looks like you can get around if you go through that air duct. Alright, I've hacked into their power grid. What do you want me to do? Okay, I'll reroute the power to a random room, that's fine. Alright, Henry, you're almost there. I'm right outside, so just open the bay doors and I'll uh, get you on the chopper. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, uh, we got a situation down in the cargo bay. <laughs> Thanks. And I'm like, look at how much I care. I don't care. I ended up buffing up my guys and doing like 70 damage. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Oh yeah, last night. Okay. Oh yeah, last night. Okay. <laughs> hmm. If we can get you up there, you could get in and open this door. So, you say all inmates is out of cell? Yeah, some idiot. Hey, I just grabbed these. Maybe they'll come in handy. Are we waiting for someone or? I thought you press. We'll regroup with that. There is convict here. Get down on ground. <laughs> to your cell inmate. What, you think that will upset me? Oh, very much. Thanks, I guess. Now let's get out of here. Well, if it isn't Henry, there has not been an incident here in 50 years, and the day you show up this happens, you are going to regret everything. <laughs>
You sure this is where he's gonna pick us up? Ah, there he is. You said you did some work with him in the past, or something? If you trust him, then so do I. Hey, Henry! Nice to see you again. Who's your friend? I'm Ellie. Well, nice to meet you. Any friend of Henry's is a friend of mine. So, uh... I was able to swing by and pick you guys up, but... Well, you remember the captain. Yeah, he had to sanction this pickup. In return, we're gonna need your assistance again. With the top hats. Again. I hope that's alright. Well, it is the least we could do. He is helping us out. Good. Let me fill you in on the details when we get into the air. Alright, so what's left of the Top Hat Clan is set up a, some sort of secret base out in the jungle. Seems like they're planning on launching a, some kind of space station into orbit. They'll be sitting pretty if they pull this off, so we gotta make sure that they don't do that. I talked to the general and he said he's pulling out all our main forces. He said that Henry and I made a good team last time, so he trusts that we can pull it off. Henry and I make a pretty good team too. Don't count me out. Then we're gonna make a great squad. The three of us will have no problems completing the mission. Why did you say it like that? Alright, we're there. I don't think I can get any closer without getting shot down. No worries. We can get there from here. Where are we dropping, boys? That was weirdly smooth. So, what's the plan? The rocket will be launching very soon. Please get on board immediately. I will not hesitate to leave you behind. Uh-oh. Sounds like they're about to take off. You guys should get over there right away. I'll be down to help as soon as I can. Funny story, this cannon was actually built to fire humans. It's kind of weird. Well, on your butt. Direct hit. Now quick, guys, you gotta stop that rocket from taking off. Um, got a little bit of a situation. <clears throat> Situation sorted. Uh, guys, the rocket's launching. We gotta do something before they get into orbit. We need to come up with a plan. Quick. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Seems like Henry's got a plan. So... Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. Alright, you guys do your thing. I'll be ready. What? Who's that? Did you set the autopilot? Alright then, let's bail. Ah, what a move. Can't believe we did it. Where'd you end up sending the rocket anyway? That was a lot of fun. You know, feel free to call us if you got any more jobs to do together. Right, Henry? <laughs> <laughs>